The Sign of the Beaver, Chapter 14 Robinson Crusoe had come to an end. Matt had skipped more than half of it, choosing only the pages where there was plenty of action. Now he was sorry it had not lasted longer. Atian also seemed disappointed. Too bad, he commented, copying one of Matt's frequent remarks. I tell story to brothers. Every night I tell more stories. They like. Delighted, Matt tried to picture the Indians sitting around the campfire at night listening to Atian tell the story of Robinson Crusoe. He would give a good deal to hear Atian's version of it. Now suddenly he had an inspiration. If they want more stories, I have lots of them, he exclaimed. He took his father's Bible from the shelf. Why hadn't he thought of this before? Why, there was Samson, David and Goliath, Joseph and his coat of many colors. They're even better than Robinson Crusoe, he promised. It really was true. The ancient Bible stories were filled with adventure, and they were told straight out in simple language that didn't need skipping. He began with the story of Noah, how God warned Noah that a great flood was coming, how Noah built the ark and took inside his family and two of every kind of animal, how they all lived in the ark safely while it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, how Noah sent a dove out three times, and when it came back the third time with a twig of olive in its beak, Noah knew the flood was over. Here, Matt looked up to see a grin on Atian's face. Beaver people tell story like that, he said. Very old story. You want me tell? Matt waited curiously. Very long time, Atian began, scowling as he tried to translate from his own tongue. Before animal was great rain. Water came over all the land. One Indian go up very high hill, climb very high tree. Rain many days. Water come up to feet of Indian, but no more. Glaskabi bring three ducks to Indian. One day he let one duck go. It fly away and not come back. Other day he let other duck go. It not come back. Then last duck come back with mud in mouth. Indian know water go down. When water all gone, he come down from tree. He make grass. He make bird and animal. Make man and beaver. Man and beaver make all other Indians. Golly, said Matt, it's almost like the Bible story. Where did the Indians get it? Patian shrugged. Very old story. Indians take a long time to tell. I know not white man's words. You told it fine. But who was this glue, whatever you called him? Gluskabi, mighty hunter, come from north. Very strong. He make wind blow, make thunder. He make all animal, make Indian. Matt was puzzled. He had heard the Indians worship the great spirit. This Kleskabi did not sound like a great spirit. He sounded more like one of the heroes in the old folk tales his mother had told him when he was a child. He decided it would be impolite to ask more. He wondered if the Indians had many stories like that. And how could it be that here in the forest they had learned about the flood? Chapter 15 next time. Till then, as Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.